when she ripped my wig off, boom, dead in the face. The wig didn't even hit the floor before the punch was hitting her face. So I got wig in one hand, wig in one hand, punching in the other. I can't do that much for her. He died inside, she know I adore her. I done been in love, I can tell you love hurts. I was wondering if I can make you mine. Let's go get high, let the time fly. Let's go get high. I don't wanna see nobody but her. Hey y'all. Y'all already know we back with another video. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. If you've been here watching, subscribe. Like, stop me in lane. Cause we finna keep going up with the video. So today, I'm about to just get right into it. I'm telling y'all a story about a time when my friend snatched my wig off on vacation in front of some niggas. So, this is gonna be a little mukbang too. I got some wings here. From Wing and Burger, um, this honey lemon pepper, and my rice. I prefer rice on my wings because that's just what I like. Um, French fries begin off cold. Like you can't, you get fries, you gotta eat them like right then. Hold up, y'all. Let me change on the plate. I don't know if y'all do this, but I like I like to eat my shit right. I can't be playing. I'm hungry too. Y'all might see me with a lot of this on Jungle Rich. I'm going to put their Instagram at the bottom of the video. But y'all go shop with them. This is all we wearing. All women. Hold up. Catch me one time. All women. This is what we in. Not the slides, but yeah. I wanted to make this video because I feel like I need to let y'all know a little bit more about me. Let y'all inside of my life. I have a crazy life. Like, stuff that happened in my life does not happen in a normal person's life. I'm almost going to bet y'all. So, we're going to be doing a lot of story times. Like, a lot of story times. A lot of travel vlogs. A lot of mommy vlogs. And just getting to know me more. If you like this, um, lashes. I always had lashes. Not, I don't really do strips. But I couldn't get an appointment. So, Y'all bear with me. I got these strips on, but I don't fuck with strips. And you see my nails looking fucked up. I'm going to tell y'all why they fucked up in another video. Not this video. This is tea. This is tea. But I'm going to say that for the next video. So we just about to get right into it. Got to have my blue cheese. So I have this friend. I had this friend. We're not friends no more. But I had this friend. We was really close like super close yeah like my motherfucking home girl for real for real in high school we probably met in like 10th grade and off rip we wasn't friends i'm not gonna say we were just off rip friends we became friends through a mutual friend so anyways boom skip all of that 10th grade shit we're gonna go ahead into We gonna go ahead into um okay this happened our senior year of high school this happened both of our birthdays so we're both Libras so you both if y'all know Libras like y'all know we both is Libras so that just says a lot right there. We both wanted to go out of town with Woody Woo, so, so, pretty much, we both are Libras, and we both wanted to go out of town for our birthdays, but my birthday is in the beginning of October. So, I'm going to give her a fake name. I'm going to call her Sassy, because she was sassy. And her mom was such a sweet lady, like, she had a trip planned out for her and everything, and so, like... And me and Sassy wasn't really talking that much leading up to the trip. We kind of just linked up. She kind of told me about it. I'm like, shit, yeah, I want to go. Like, yeah. So that's how we agreed to go on. But we had, we was always close. But we would just kind of have little moments where we would just not talk for a little bit. But it wasn't like nothing serious in this point while we wasn't talking. It was just we wasn't talking. These things are so good. Like, if you want Atlanta, you gotta try wing and burger. Dead ass. Okay, oh. 
She invited me on the trip. I agree to go. I got my flight and everything. Like, I'm lit. I'm ready. To have a good motherfucking time. So, I get my hair done. I get my nails done. Feet too. Everything. Like, I'm a bad bitch going out of town. I ain't gonna tell y'all where we went because I feel like that's gonna give it away. Just know we went out the motherfucking country. And so, boom. Like, it was me. Sassy and her friend. I'm gonna call her Follower. So Sassy and Follower and me on the trip. We get there. Okay, so I'm gonna just tell y'all why we went there. We went there because Sassy had went there previously on a trip with her mom, and she met some dudes out there. And she was like, okay, I'm gonna come back for my next birthday. Sassy went back for her next birthday. So boom, the first night we get there. Everything is good, like everybody good vibes, everything good. We get there, we want to eat. So, the first night, Sassy calls the nigga who she met the previous year out there to pull up to dinner. So, we just chilling, like we didn't know he was gonna bring friends because we didn't even know the niggas at all, so. We just chilling, eating. Who was okay? Um, the niggas pull up to dinner. So the nigga bought a friend. Take a drink on that. I thought the nigga bought a friend, y'all. The friend was so fun. So. Sassy's nigga was just okay. Like, he wasn't like, I'm going back out of the country to see you, type of. Huh? Not even like, I would have never flew back to that country to see this nigga if I would have met him. Like, no fucking way. I ain't find a country to see no nigga except mine, but especially not this one. But, anyways, the nigga was not all that. So, everybody peeped, like, me. Me, Sassy, and Follower all peeped that the friend was fine as fuck. Like, it's, it's clear as day. It's not a sh secret. Like, it's clear as day. So, I, ain't, I don't know, like, what happened. I don't know if Sassy wanted the friend now, but she was a little different. So, we eat dinner with the, with the friend. So, Sassy's nigga was sitting by her. And the friend, cause so it was Follower, me, Sassy right there and the friend and the nigga like who he, she called and his friend sat right here So we all just eating everything like they came in their own car and so we was with Sassy's mom so We um we just ended up and we ate dinner with the woody woo and we ended up leaving with them We didn't leave with Sassy's mom, so We um like yeah, we're gonna leave with them. We don't wanna go back to the um house right now. So we're like, okay, cool. Give us the key to go back to the house. And we leave with the two dudes that pulled up. So we walk into the car. Um Sassy, this being the person she is, she was gonna hop up in the front seat. So she hopping up in the front seat. Like, she's literally about to get in the front seat. He like the dude, not Sassy's dude, but the dude that Sassy's dude bought with him, who was driving, he was like, uh-uh, you get in the back. He told me to get in the front seat. So, I already knew off rip, it was about to be some pressure. I knew it because I know her. So, oh my god damn, how the fuck this nigga tell me to get in the front seat? Because it's her birthday, I'm already getting in the back. Like, people always hate on me. So, I was on the way to the back seat because I didn't want no smoke. Like, I'm just getting in the back because I already know what's going on because you can feel the vibes. Like, she was on the way to the front. Then he get in, he like, nah, like, you get in the back. Let her sit in the front. So, I felt like that right there rubbed her the wrong way. So, I get in the front. Like, what am I supposed to do? Get in the back? <laughs> he said get in the front, so I got in the front. So, I got in the front. And we go to the store, get some snacks, get some Rillos, you know. All this shit, party favorites, and we go back to the house. 
and everything good like everything good everybody kicking it like everybody in the living room chilling woo -doo -woo -doo -woo, just talking and smoking and i eventually i was tired so i was like i was like, i'm about to go to sleep i'm, like, I'm sorry i'm gonna see y'all in the morning so the dude was like the final one was like all right why are you going to sleep like i'm like i'm tired i'm just, just gonna go to sleep so he asked my number i gave him my number and i went to sleep so I ain't talk to them and we ain't text or nothing that night but they end up coming back in the morning the two boys just came then wasn't anybody just pulled up so we like okay cool i guess that's how they kick it out here so boom we kick it we hanging out we go to the beach like we just hanging out all day go to the beach like they was really from where we went so they was just taking us around town like showing us the country and how they kick it out there real good time so fast forward to the night we had been drinking we've been drinking everybody been drinking but we wasn't toe up from the flow up we was drinking though but we wasn't that drunk so we want something to eat it's late we want something to eat we feel like driving so well boy was there he was like i took y'all so we was going to Wendy's so we are in the car we in the car now the car we in is the dude who looked good not the dude who she came back down there for his friend the one with the car so this food is so good so get in the car Going to Wendy's, get some food. So, everybody just riding in the car like, I'm in the front. Because, you know, he keeps telling me he's in the front. I'm not just hopping up in nobody's front seat. Like, he's telling me to get up there. So, we get we get in the car. Everybody just riding. Like, everything good. Everybody just riding. Everything good. We just in the car riding. Why? Five minutes in the car ride. This girl gonna snatch my wig off. Literally, like, whole wig off. Frontal off. Cap showing, braid showing. Completely embarrass me in front of this nigga. And she behind me. I'm in the front seat, so. I'm literally, like, turn, I'm facing this way. We riding. We driving. And she from the back snatched my wig off. So, I'm like, what the fuck? So I turned around with that shit. I'm like I was supposed to knock your ass out right then and there, but I didn't. I was like, bro, like chill out. Why the fuck would you do that? She laughing. She fucking laughing. She like, ha ha ha. You mad? Like why you mad? I'm like, girl, I'm mad because you just ripped my wig off. What the fuck you mean? Why I'm mad, bitch? I just never get my hair done. You gonna rip my wig off? So I'm like, oh, 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 I'm mad. You damn right. I'm pissed. Actually, I'm not mad. So we um. So yeah, she pulled my wig off. So at this point, it's tension in the car. Like everybody, like whoa, 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 because it was so random. Everybody, like whoa, what the fuck? Like what's going on? So I, so she like, she like, oh, why you doing all that? Like I said, but I don't do that shit. Like that's, that's weird. Like what, what's your point? Like she's like, oh, it was just a joke. Like you can't take a joke with me. I'm like, that's not a joke. Like nothing was funny about that. That wasn't funny. So I follow her, like. So yeah, y'all mad. I don't put the wig back home. <laughs> So I'm like, don't do that shit no more. Like, it wasn't funny. I ain't find it funny. So a follower, she over here like, yeah. Don't do that again. She didn't like that. Like, don't do it again. Not really saying like, bro, that was lame. Like, you know, you shouldn't. Like, that was kind of like, oh, why you do that? She just like, yeah, like, if she don't like it, just don't do it. If she don't like it, let me rip your wig off. <laughs> so... She don't wear wigs, but so she like trying to she's trying to come it down, but she's not really saying the right thing to her friend who just did some lame shit clearly. So I told her if you do it again, I'm gonna punch you in your face. Like that's it. If you do it again, I'm gonna punch you out of you. So she like, okay. The bitch did it again. The bitch ripped my wig off twice. And guess what I promised her? That punch right into my fucking face. So she so she ripped my wig off. Boom, dead in the face. The wig didn't even hit the floor before the punch was hitting her face. So I got a wig in one hand, 
Wig in one hand, punching in the other. Bow, 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 bow. Wig in one hand, punching the face in the other. Bow. So then she kicked me. So at this point, I started punching her. So we got in the car. So she's like, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Let's hit, let's hit, let's hit. I'm like, bro, we just hit. Like, what's up? I'm going to continue. Swing. Like, what's up? So she's like, let's hit, let's hit, let's hit. I'm like, we just hit, but what's up? I'm just like, what's up? We just hit, what's up? Because I'm really not trying to fight nobody on their birthday. She begged me for that. Like, she begged me to punch her in her face, and I didn't want to do it. But she was begging for it, so I had to. But nobody swung. Oh, she ain't swung on me, I ain't swung on her again. Because at this point, it's like, what you mad for? <laughs> we got into the fight. I put my wig back on. And I still ended up leaving with the nigga who she tried to embarrass me in front of. He took me home, um, made sure everything was straight. He took some shots, smoked a little bit. I don't know telling where she was. She did not come back that night to the Airbnb. I don't know where she slept. I don't know where she was because at that point I didn't even give a fuck. Like you trying to embarrass me in front of this nigga that we both don't even know. He's in a whole other country. We will never see him again. So really, T. But clearly she wasn't on that. So the next morning she ended up coming back to the Airbnb. Shit is weird because we just got to fight in the last night, the night before. So she come back to the Airbnb and she's like trying to act like shit normal. Kind of trying to talk to me, but I'm giving her the cold shoulder because like I'm like, I'm looking at you funny now, like. Don't be trying to talk to me after you just did that weirdo shit last night. Talking about you was fucking drunk. You weren't that drunk. Because we wasn't that drunk. So she apologized. Or whatever. And I forgave her. Because it was her birthday. And because that was my friend. And because she had to wear a black eye for the rest of her birthday trip. So that's very unfortunate. It's your birthday. Weirdo. But. So like. We really, that trip was really kind of like the end of our friendship, pretty much. Basically, we just never kind of rekindled. Yeah. That, on a trip. On a trip, on on a birthday trip. We out the country and you acting like this. Shit was dead. Yeah. Just, more of this story is... I need some on the drinking. Second thing is, don't ever like, don't ever overlook jealousy and hate and envy. For real, for real, because that shit can keep you in a place that you don't even want to be in. Like, it's because you got all these hating ass around you, and that's just it. And that's just why I find myself a lot. Like, a lot of my friends. That I had in the past turned out to be hating ass bitches. Let me tell y'all next next video why my nails is broke. In this video, I'm gonna tell y'all why I got this scratch on my face because I know y'all see it's clear as day. But I'm gonna tell y'all about all that. I hope y'all like this video. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. We got so much stuff coming for y'all. I been planning this since 2018. It's 2021, so y'all know I'm not stopping. Yeah, I'm gonna show you how to work, girl. Yeah, I'm gonna show you how to work. I'm gonna show you how to work.